Hey guys, I'm back with a quick tutorial on an oldie but a goodie, the Free Trust Miracle Curl in my favorite color combination, OT30 and OT27. Now, of course, OT means you have the dark roots, which I like because my natural hair is black, so it makes the style blend better with my natural hair. My braiding pattern is super simple, 8 to 10 corn rolls going straight back. I'm gonna go ahead and separate these strands. They are pretty thick and I want this look to be very full. I always install my crochets from back to front using the invisible knot method around the hairline because I am notorious for pulling my hair up in a ponytail or a bun and it just looks better when you pull your hair up and you don't see huge knots. This hair is super easy to work with. Because of the texture, you don't have any slippy knots and you only have to knot the hair once or twice if you want a little more security, but that's also going to reduce your installation times. So this hair is perfect for a quick install when you don't have a lot of time. So I didn't know where I wanted the highlights to be, but I knew I wanted highlights in the front and also when I flip my hair over. So I installed the 27 based on how I wanted the finished look to turn out and she turned out beautifully. And you can see I'm using smaller sections in the front, again, just to give a more natural hairline so you don't see big knots right in the front. In the back, of course, it doesn't matter. Make them as big or as small as you want. Now that I'm done with installation, I'm just gonna shape up the hair a little bit, frame my face, and get rid of some of the loose ends. The length is perfect. This is about a 12 inch, uh, which is actually my length of choice. I don't have to cut that much. Just add some layers in the front just to frame my face and shape the hair up a little bit. And I'm just gonna separate some of the strands in the front to add some little ringlets. I think those are super sexy. And boom. This is how she turned out. You cannot tell me this look is not popping, okay? The highlights are placed perfectly. This hair is super lightweight, so it's really easy to pull it up in a bun and sleep at night. You know, some of the longer styles can be kind of hard to sleep in, but this is a perfect length. And the 27 gives just the right amount of highlights to blend with the darker 30 color, which is why this is one of my favorite color combinations. And I apologize for all the focus issues that's going on. I made the mistake of filming in autofocus, which is a big no-no when you're gonna be moving around. But this look was so cute, I didn't want to not post the video. So you can still see how fabulous this style looks, so there you have it. And here, I'm just playing around with styling some updos. Why does this look remind me of Lucille Ball? I don't know, but it's cute. Um, but this is how I normally wear the hair when I'm in the house and just want the hair away from my face. But don't go anywhere yet. I'm going to give you an update on how this hair wore over time. That's always the question we want to know, right? So since filming the installation video, I've worn this hair for about two weeks and I pretty much just filmed workout videos in it the entire time. And so the hair was up in the bun the entire time. The only time I would take it down and wear it like this is if I had an event to go to or if I needed the style to film a particular video. But you know when you pull the band off uh, to take it out of the bun, the hair gets frizzy and I wanted to come on and show you what the hair is looking like two weeks in. I think it held up pretty well. I mean, the curls are still intact. The frizz is not too bad. There is some frizz there, but pretty much I could probably wear this hair another week, but I am taking this hair out. I really like this hair. I am loving this curl pattern, this color pattern and the curl pattern. Um, but if you don't know, I love the color 30. I think it looks really, really good against my chocolate skin. And so I'm looking for my next crochet style. So if you guys have a crochet hair that you want me to try in this color combination, let me know because I am looking for my next style. But this hair, I give it a thumbs up. It's an old favorite free trust wand curl. Um, and so if you were thinking about trying this hair, definitely give it a try. You can get a good two, three weeks out of it. Not sure about four weeks. I think this hair is prone to frizz but it'll last you a good three weeks with no problem. So guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I hope this tutorial was helpful. That's all I have. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and make sure you stay fit and fabulous.